Burundi is a hurting and broken country, but there's so much hope here. It's so beautiful. The place where we live is called Homes of Hope. It's an orphanage. This is a place where children from different tribes have been adopted into a, a larger family. Your light is breaking through the dark. Just love it. They come here, they receive excellent education, they receive love and support, they receive the love and peace that comes from knowing Jesus Christ. Life here has been challenging, beautiful, rewarding, frustrating, and incredible. As we reflect on this last year, it's been life changing. We've learned so much about how to rely on God and we've grown so much in our faith. It's This country is full of people, but each person has their own story and a soul. This love it is sweeter than wife is doing many things. We started a school, a my school called Future Hope School. Beside Future Hope School, there is another school called Gitega International Academy. It's an English boarding school. Our vision, we want to raise a godly young generation of leaders. Our motto is integrity, excellence, and leadership. We want them to train them. First, we want to touch their heart. Secondly, we want to touch their head with knowledge. We have good teachers and also want to enable them to be ready to work with their hands to change this country and be able also to, to impact the world. Our vision is to raise a young generation of leaders. This country have uh, a background of civil war for many years. So now we do have many orphans. The children, they need hope. Wives is growing. First of all, it's God. We really trust in God. I remember this land we are in right now. In 2006, it was empty. Now, if I see around people moving, I can see children, more than 300 in future of school. I can see more than 30 children in homes hope. Now we have more than 170 at GIA, Gitega Training Academy. We are seeing God hands. Hello, welcome to Gitega. This is our home. We wanted to uh, welcome you guys here and show you some snippets of what life has been like for us. The love, the joy, um, all of the amazing things that we've been able to experience here in Burundi. Uh, we really hope that uh, this video gives you a glimpse of what our life is like here and the things that we've been able to do and experience. We wanted to thank you so much for your support. God uh, has blessed us so much. We've been able to purchase a truck, build a guest house. We're financing the clinic. It, it's just been amazing. We've been, been overwhelmed by your generosity and love. And we wanted to prepare a special message here 
We've been working very hard to get health education into Burundi Youth for Christ schools, teaching the students about hygiene, about disease prevention, about hand washing. We've been learning the local language called Kirundi. It helps to bridge this cultural divide that is truly massive here. This is a completely different world that we live in now and language study brings us one step closer to the people around us. We've been networking, forming partnerships with the Ministry of Health and with other organizations involved in healthcare. We've been sourcing equipment and learning all we can about the healthcare system here. We've been determining community needs and renovating the clinic itself. We've also been developing systems to be put in place in order to provide the best care and most effective care for our patients. Hi everyone, my name is Leon Paul. I'm working with you for Christ in Igitega. There will be a big difference having Shama Health Center here opening. Because around us, there's no a clinic around. You have to go kilometers away. Really, having Shama Health Center opening in this community to be a big privilege because the community here, they didn't have education about health. Shama Medical Clinic opening here, it will be big impact in this community. We can't wait to see clinic open. Thank you. Pray with us. Shama is Hebrew for the Lord is present. The vision for the clinic is that it will help meet the basic physical needs of individuals and by doing so will open the door for opportunities to share God's unfailing love. By the protective covering of Jesus Christ, our patients will feel safe, cared for, and loved through God's mighty presence. We want it to be a place where patients come and feel at home. Clinics and hospitals in Burundi can be very scary places and we just want this to be a place where people come and feel like they're treated with dignity and love and respect and kindness. And we want it to be a place where all of our patients hear about the love of Jesus. Thank you guys so much for everything that you've been doing. For us, it's an opportunity of a lifetime to be able to live life here in Gatega. It's, a, it's just a special place.